today. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, what we're going to do here today is I have uh, a few different sets of headliners, and we're just going to show what they are. I'm not trying to put any ones down. I'm just going to show you the difference between the different headliners, since I read a lot on the forum and people don't really know what they are. These are the boom mats. These are the Mopar headliners, and then we have our headliners back there. So we're just going to go through and, and show exactly what they are. You might have to show some close-ups of this. Why don't you, can you step down here? Oh, you're just going to, okay. So the boom mats, uh, they got a nice finish on them. They're very thick. Um, it's a real soft kind of foam, and the whole back is adhesive. So you're going to peel this off. Um, I, I've read on the forum, and people don't really know what this material is. As far as some people think it's a really dense foam, it's a really light foam. I'm sure it works very well at uh, cutting down the heat. And if we get a warm day within the next week or so, we're actually going to put some in and we're going to do some test measurements between these. So I ordered a, a, a 2007, 2010, but they sent me the wrong ones. Not the boom mat's fault, it's just the company made a mistake. So they're not really fitting in here. So the, the boom mats, they go in this section, which is the front out of my 2008 and they have cutouts for these because they're so thick. Okay, um, these little strips are gonna go down there and then these are gonna go on top of them. To install the boom mat, you have to completely remove your top, put it upside down on something and do it. Um, if you've taken your top off, it's a little bit of a trouble. You need, you need a few guys to do that. Okay, so the next ones we're gonna show are, these are the Mopar ones. Um, they have like a, I'm not sure what this is, some kind of indoor-outdoor carpet bound. This is a really dense foam. Um, adhesive strips on the back. And I actually cut into one of them so we could see the inside of the foam. It's a very dense foam. Um, again, I'm sure, and these are about, I'd say, just a hair under a half inch thick. Stick up with tape. They're very lightweight. Um, you can see when they lay in here, they look, they look nice. I'm sure they function very well. Um, neither one of these are removable. If you ever tried to take this off because you're gonna have all that adhesive, it would probably be a big mess. These, I've tried to pull some of this off here and it kind of tears the, the foam. So you, you, once these are in, and I'm sure they're gonna stay in, I'm guessing they tested them, um, they're in. So, and Mopar, to do the fronts, you obviously, you know, you don't have to take them off. But to put the back pieces in, um, the instructions so that you gotta lift your hard top up and stick like a two by four in there so you can get underneath the sound bar some. Um, Cause the, it has these parts that stick out that go up underneath there, just like this, which ours don't have. Um, it's way up under the sound bar. We didn't feel it was worth taking your top off to do that. Okay, so that's these. Um, here's a set of our headliners. Um, and again, I have, uh, these are 2013, 11 to 14 headliners. So these ones don't fit in here, but I have some other ones. I'll show you what they look like. And ours are a headliner board. And then they have foam on it and then um, headliner fabric. I have an actual video on the website that shows what these are. Um, here is one put in a different color, different color headliner fabric. It goes in there, all your levers work. Um, here is the actual headliner panel before the, the headliner material goes on. It's a headliner board, about an eighth inch thick, quarter inch insulating foam. This is a dense foam right here, and then we have, it's like 3 inch headliner fabric. It's a soft, soft fabric on uh, soft foam, and that goes over it, gets stapled around the back. These strips is what the 3M hooks to. And to install these headliners, you don't have to pull any part of your hard top off. Um, it's actually easier if you leave your hard top on. And because we have these strips here, you can remove these at the most, you might mess up some of your tape, uh, but you could just replace the tape, put them if you got a new Jeep. Uh, if you wrecked your Jeep, you could take them out, put them in a new Jeep, whatever you wanted to do. So that's what these look like. Uh, 
Okay, and then we have one other option. Um, this is a product that we came up with. This is our economy headliner. I also have videos showing this. It fits in there just like that. It's a piece of very dense foam with ABS strips on the back like our headliners. It's really light, so we just need little strips of uh, 3M tape to stick it up. Um, and this is an inexpensive option. Uh, if you don't, these headliners are really nice. Um, they're, they sell really good, everybody really likes them, but some people don't want to spend the money. Um, these are a little more expensive than, than both the other options. These headliners here are cheaper than all of them. So if you wanted to go with uh, something less expensive, more of a do-it-yourself thing, this is your thing. You can wash them off and just stick them in. They look nice. So uh, that's it. These are basically the three most popular headliners. I know there's a couple other companies out there making them. Um, I, I don't think they're that popular. I don't read much about them on the forum. So I didn't bother getting those. Um, and again, if you guys have any questions, you can always call me. My phone number's posted all over the forums and on our website. Thanks.